Time now to check in with First Alert meteorologist Dave Aguilera. Dave, some snow coming for the morning, huh? Snow on the way tomorrow. Big change for us. And uh, we've had some people ask, why are you launching a First Alert weather day? And this is the reason why it is in place for tomorrow. We have a noticeable change coming. Whenever that happens, we're going to launch a First Alert weather day. It will have an effect on our commuting both in the morning and the afternoon. And tomorrow we're expecting two to six inches in the metro area. Now, whether we get an inch of snow out of a storm or a foot of snow out of a storm. We're going to launch a first alert weather day to let you know we've got a change coming. And as we've all seen, even an inch of snow on the morning commute or the afternoon commute could cause problems. So here we go with our first alert weather day. Right now we've got increasing clouds around. There's a little bit of light snow out near Meeker out here. We've got what we call a backdoor cold front. It's all connected way out here in the Great Lakes, but then it shoots over Nebraska into Wyoming. That's going to slam right into the front range over Overnight tonight into tomorrow. So here we go with the uh, with the cold front. And there's also a big low over Salt Lake City that will also add moisture into the mix as this front comes through. So do this just after midnight. The front will start to move into northern Colorado. Then moving through Denver by the morning commute, it's snowing in the front range and northeastern Colorado. And as we roll the clock, the entire commute it will be snowing during the morning tomorrow. In the afternoon, the front moves further south. We've got flurries for the afternoon commute so it will affect both commutes the morning though will be really under the gun before everything moves out by the time we get to Wednesday so with that said tomorrow 5 a.m. to 5 p.m. we have a winter weather advisory for the entire metro area the snow starts up north first and spreads southward overnight heaviest snow will be in the morning two to six in the Denver metro area if you're in the foothills out here above 6,000 feet about four to eight inches of snow in some of those areas and also south of Castle Rock towards Monument Hill. We'll have lighter amounts the further east you go and four to eight inches of snow down there in the wet mountains and the Sangre de Cristos. That snow will arrive later in the day for you down there and other areas, although you don't have a warning going on or advisory, we'll have light snow here and there over most areas of Colorado tomorrow with this moisture coming through. Our high today made it to 45 degrees at the airport, 46 downtown, and the morning low officially was 22. Jerry DeTulio, DeTulo in uh, Wheat Ridge has 45 degrees right now. Uh, so thank you, Jerry, for sending that in. Low temperatures tonight will be in the single digits and teens in the mountains, teens and 20s out across the eastern plains, and across the state tomorrow we are looking at 20s and 30s wherever you go. Everybody going to cool down with this. So snow late tonight in the metro area about an inch by about five o'clock in the morning and then during the morning rush hour another two to five adding up to the two to six that we're looking for tomorrow and we do not make it above freezing tomorrow. It will lighten up in the afternoon somewhat on Wednesday 39 with clearing skies and Thursday there's another chance of a few snow showers coming through that could be an alert day and then by the time we get to Friday in the weekend we clear it out and the 50s come back full force on Saturday and Sunday. All right Dave thanks Thanks for the heads up. Well, the abs back on the ice.